All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about training young fig trees as quickly as possible. How do we get them to a state of a mature form, mature shape, as quickly as we can so that they can produce really tasty fruits and a lot of fruits? That's what we're talking about in today's video. We're using a technique today called pinching or topping or summer pruning. And by doing this, we're removing the apical bud, removing that dominance and changing the hormones within our trees that allows them to form their scaffolds in the first growing season. It's pretty much as simple as that. If we can get these scaffolds to form in the first growing season, we can take a small young fig tree here you see on my right and turn it into something that you see here on my left this time next season. And even all the trees really behind me are only in their second or third season. And a lot of them looked like this last year. They were at this time of the year, it's by the way, it's July 12th in the Philadelphia area. These trees are roughly two to three feet in height at the roughly the height of my hip. And we're gonna remove, or we, we already have removed a lot of the apical buds here to encourage them to form their scaffolds now. And it's critical to do this now, but I'm gonna demonstrate the technique for you. And I'm also gonna show you guys three examples of trees we already did the technique on. But here's a tree first that we're gonna to go to that demonstrates exactly what we're trying to achieve. What is the form that we want and how our trees are gonna look like this, this year, and then look like that next year. So this is a tree called Martinenca Blanca. It's in a five gallon size pot. You can see that the tree has a main trunk that comes up and then it branches out into three scaffolds because in the summer last year I actually topped it. I removed this apical bud. There's even maybe even a little bit of a scar there and you can see the three scaffolds that have formed as a result. At the beginning of this season a lot of the videos that we did were talking about opening up the center of our trees and getting stakes and limb spreaders to open up the permanent scaffolds so that we can get better production on these figs. If we do both of these two things in the video that we're talking about, where we actually get the scaffolds to form in the first year, by the second year we open them up like this, we open the scaffolds up, well then all these laterals and fruiting branches that form from the scaffolds, we're gonna have a lot of fruit set. And this tree, I counted them, there's about 65 fruits on here. In just the second season, in a five gallon pot. That's really impressive. Now I would argue that the variety Martinica Blanca is a very, uh, very productive fig. But uh, let's look at three examples now of three trees that we did this technique on not too long ago. This one here is uh, called Petite Bardinex. And you can see right down there, that's the scar in which we actually removed the tip. And then it formed these three scaffolds that you see. There's also some growth coming in here from the base, but I think that's not a result of what we did. That was just naturally growing. And so this one was performed about probably five weeks ago. We removed the tip. So you can do this even before the summer begins officially. This is a tree we did this technique on about three weeks ago, and you can see where we removed the tip right there. That's where the scar is. We've got fruits that have formed. By the way, on this other one here, a lot of fruits have formed up and down that main branch. Same thing over here. We formed the, uh, the scaffolds as well as fruits. We have three main scaffolds that have formed and that's perfect. We wanna have at least three, three to five scaffolds that are gonna form. And this is really a beauty here. This tree has formed actually five new scaffolds from where we topped it. So there's one here, another one there, another one behind it. One down there that's smaller with less dominance. And then again, another one down there, similar story. So we have five new scaffolds from these trees. Now, how do we know exactly when to do this? What is the right time? Because there is nuance to this. You don't, you don't just go over here and remove all the tips and expect to have the same results that I've had. You just can't. What we're really looking for is larger leaves. This is a sure sign that our tree has access to more light, and it's gonna be able to actually grow and form more scaffolds in a given area. When we have these larger leaves, it also says, well, the tree probably has a lot of vigor to it. It's growing quickly. We also wanna see if it has a lot of fig mosaic virus on it. So assess the health of your tree, assess the rate of its growth, assess the node spacing. 
and also assess the, the large size of the leaves. This is the critical piece. If I put my hand here on the leaf, my, the leaf should be wider and bigger than my hand. If I put it on some of these lower branches down here, that really should not be uh, topped. You can tell that my hand's larger than most of them. So we want to see these larger leaves here at the top before we remove the, the apical bud here. So here's a good example of a leaf that's, again, wider than my hand. We don't need to see many of these. Once you start seeing one or two of these, it's a good idea at that point. The tree is probably already two and a half, two, th two foot, three feet in height. It's a good chance, good sign right there with these larger leaves to remove those apical buds. And that's exactly what I've done over here with all these other trees. Look how large these leaves are. Look how large these leaves are again. So it just is a, uh, a really great sign right there. And if you're not seeing that, I would not remove the apical bud. How do we remove the apical bud? It's rather simple. We're just gonna come in here to our figs and we're gonna look for the apical bud, which is the highest point of our fig. And you can do this with your thumb. That's why it's called pinching at times, is that you can just grab your two fingers together and pinch this off. Well, that one's a little difficult to come off, but there you go. And so you can do this with pruning shears. It's happening during the summer. That's why we call it summer pruning. It's called topping, pinching, and that's all it is. And in fact, that is the only pruning I do on these potted figs now for almost their entire life until they get to the size where maybe they're three or five years in and they could probably benefit with a little bit of pruning. Maybe I need to thin some things out here and there in the canopy, but for the most part, I didn't do any pruning on this Martin and Camblanca. I don't really do much pruning on any of the potted figs. That's it. It's just as simple as removing the apical bud in the summer. You guys should do this now. This is a really great technique for, again, forming the mature size, the mature shape of your fig tree as quickly as possible. Please hit me, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me, hit that like button for me. And also check out the blog figboss.com. I have a companion guide. I've already written about this technique on the blog and I'll put that link down in the description. Take care everybody.